today I'm going to be making some more Christmas decorations. I'm going to make some button Christmas tree decorations for hanging up uh, probably on our Christmas tree or they could also hang on door handles that kind of thing or from other decorations. The things you need for this are really simple so I've just got some buttons I found out some various sized green buttons and I found some red ones so I'm going to make two or three trees one red one green and I might make a mixed one um, and I've also got some um, cotton so I've got a red cotton there I've got a thicker um, type there for the green ones and I've got some needles and um, various size needles see what I need um, I did have these buttons already um, my nan had kept hundreds of buttons in this very cool vintage tin um, so she had kept all the buttons off old clothes over the years so I've been through this tin and found out all the the ones I wanted um, so yes yeah, so I was very lucky to have those but you can buy these quite cheaply online or um, in sewing shops so I've set up ready to go so I've sorted out my buttons into a size order um, so I've got enough buttons for red buttons for two trees um, so I've lined them up in order and I've threaded my red um, cotton on a needle um, so really simply all I'm going to do is start at the bottom so I can put the knot at, at the bottom um, and I'm going to pass my needle through each one on one side go around the top and make a loop and go back down the other side so I'm just going to go through one hole and leave them quite loose so I can separate them to go back the other way but you'll start to see the the effect it's probably one of the quickest um, crafts I've done for Christmas so now I'm at the top I'm gonna leave some at the top so I can hang it and I'll probably put a knot just above the top button um, but I can pull that through when I tie it so now I'm just going to go down the other side so opposite where I went through before and pull that through do the same on each button to try and do the opposite hole some of them have got two holes some of them have got four holes all different buttons from different clothes over the years it's quite nice to keep this um, sort of vintage stuff, stuff that's been passed through the family and make them into something new. It's not often we uh, replace a button these days. So, um, good use for them. Okay, and there's the last one. So. going to pull out some cotton at the top and tie a knot there so it doesn't slip down and I can hang it off this piece okay, make a couple of knots there just so it's a bit bigger that will be holding on the bottom but I'm not underneath piece off okay, I'm just gonna do a few a few knots there just to make sure it's nice and secure. There we go, there's my first one. 
I'm quite pleased with how that looks. It's quite good. So I'm going to make another two or three of those. So we've got a nice little set. I managed to get five little button trees out of the um, green and red buttons I found in the tin. So I'm quite pleased with those. They're all about the same height, they've all got the same amount of buttons in them. So I've got two green ones, two red ones, and then a, a bit of a mix. They're really simple to make. I didn't buy anything. They're all, all things we had already. Um, so yeah, real cheap, easy craft. Yeah. <laughs>